Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2015 Toyota RAV4 Limited in this blizzard pearl color. This all-wheel drive, four-door, five-passenger SUV comes equipped with a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine mounted to an automatic transmission. Starting up from some of the notable exterior features, you've got a nice stylish front end thanks in large part to these great looking headlamps with the big projector beam bulbs. And just below here you'll also find the fog lamps for some additional style and utility. As you come around to the side of the vehicle, you've got the 18-inch alloy rims the vehicle currently rides on, and those are wrapped in these Starfire tires with lots and lots of tread, as you can see. As we continue down the vehicle, you'll find the LED turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror, and along the bottom of the windows, you've got that nice silver trim. Speaking of the windows in back, they are tinted for some additional privacy for the rear passengers or rear cargo. That tint continues in the back window as well. Up top, you'll find the nice silver roof rails, making it nice and easy to expand your storage at some point in the future, if you choose to do so. And as we head towards the back of the vehicle, you'll find the roof-mounted antenna, as well as the color match roof spoiler with the integrated brake light. Back here, you've also got a rear windshield wiper, as well as the RAV4 badging, and the limited all-wheel drive badging. If you're looking for a fully loaded RAV4 at a discounted price, this is the perfect vehicle for you. So let's go ahead and hop inside and get started with the interior features. Hopping inside, this sleek and stylish SUV is nice and easy thanks to the proximity smart key system, but of course you do have the standard remote keyless entry options on the key fob as well. You also find the power liftgate buttons, so you can pop the hatch without having to hop in the vehicle. All you have to do is walk up with the key on your person and put your hand in the door handle to unlock the vehicle, and when you hop out you've got those two lines there to easily lock the vehicle. Inside, you're good with the gorgeous two-tone leather seating here. You've got that nice black leather in the center and the brown leather on the bolsters. And they've both got that nice accent stitching along the side there. Just below the seat, you'll find the power adjustable seat controls, which includes your power adjustable lumbar support. And if we take a look at the footwell here, you've got the RAV4 branded all-weather mats. And those are nice and easy to clean, regardless of how dirty or wet they get. And you've also got this great RAV4 nameplate on the door sill here. So let's go ahead and hop inside, fire this vehicle up, and get started with all the bells and whistles. The features inside this fully loaded RAV4 start with the push button ignition. Simply put your foot on the brake and push the button to start the vehicle as long as the key is inside. If you take a look over at the driver's side door panel, you've got more of that gorgeous brown leather as well as this carbon fiber-esque trim that houses the controls for your power windows and locks. As an added bonus, your driver's side window is automatic. Just above, you'll find the memory settings for your driver's seat so you can easily switch between seat settings when you're switching drivers. And just to the right here, you'll find the controls for your power mirrors, as well as the dimmer switch for your gauge cluster. You've also got the button to turn on and off your traction control, as well as your blind spot monitoring. And all the way over to the right, you'll find the differential lock for your all-wheel drive system, as well as the button for your power lift gate. If you take a look under the steering column here, you will find the manual adjustment for your tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so you can easily get it in the perfect position. And if we take a look just behind the wheel at the turn signal stock, you'll notice that this vehicle does come equipped with automatic headlights, which is a great set of forget a feature. Of course, you've also got the switch for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. If we back up and take a look at this steering wheel here, you've got a very nice three-spoke steering wheel with the bolsters up top for a nice ergonomic design. And over on the left-hand side here, you'll find the steering wheel mounted audio controls, which includes your volume rocker and track selector buttons. You've also got the audio mode button. You can also hold that to mute the system. And over on the other side, you'll find the Bluetooth hands-free calling buttons, as well as the voice recognition button. Just below that, you've got the display button for your little digital display in the gauge cluster. I'll show you that in just a moment. And just behind the wheel here, you've got the cruise control stock, which is great for those highway drives. Go ahead and take a look up at that display. You've got the nice little digital temperature gauge, as well as your exterior temperature. You've also got the gear that the vehicle is in, as well as your odometer. And you can see that this vehicle currently has 138,000. 455 kilometers on it. You can cycle through with that display button to check your two different trips as well as your current fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, your range, and your average and current speed. If we go ahead and take a look over towards the center of the dash here, up top you'll find the hazard lights as well as the button for your parking sensor so you can ensure that you never hit anything while you're parking this vehicle. You've also got the nice little digital clock there as well as the settings for it. As you continue over, you'll find the passenger airbag warning, as well as the button to turn on and off your lane departure alerts. Just below that, you'll find a couple of climate vents on either side of your embedded touchscreen infotainment system. That includes navigation, which is a very nice feature to have. In terms of your audio options here, you can see you do have your standard AM, FM radio. You've also got XM radio, as well as a CD player. 
USB and auxiliary inputs, and Bluetooth audio, so you can be sure that you can listen to your own audio regardless of the type of device that you have. If you do have your device hooked up, you can access the phone and messages screens there. Just below, you'll find the eco screen, which gives you your trip information as well as your fuel economy history. You've also got the setup screen here, which gives you lots and lots of options to go through and customize to your preferences. And finally, you can also set yourself maintenance reminders, which is a really handy feature to ensure you never miss any important maintenance, and you can keep your RAV4 in pristine condition. You can also put this vehicle into reverse to bring up the backup camera, which is a fantastic feature. And of course, putting the vehicle back in a park will bring back your infotainment system. Just below that, you'll find the dual zone climate controls for the vehicle, so you can adjust the temperature independently for the driver and the passenger. It's also an auto system, so you can let the vehicle adjust the fan speed, heat, and placement to get it to your desired temperature. For those hot summer days, you do have air conditioning, which is a very important feature to have in the Okanagan. And just below here, again, you'll notice that gorgeous brown leather with the very nice white accent stitching. Underneath, you'll find the Eco and Sport Mode buttons, so you can switch between whether you're trying to get a little bit more fuel economy or performance out of the vehicle. You've also got the two-stage heated seats here for both front passengers, as well as the windshield wiper de-icer, USB and auxiliary input that I mentioned earlier, and a 12-volt outlet. Underneath here, you've also got an extra 12-volt outlet, as well as a nice little storage tray. Then you've got your first cup holder, as well as more of that carbon fiber trim. You've also got the shifter here, and as you can see, you can put that into a standard mode if you're looking to manually shift between the gears. And you'll also find your e-brake here as well. As we continue down, you've got an extra cup holder, as well as your padded leather armrest here that opens up to reveal your center console with that nice carpeted bottom. As an added bonus, you can also slide this forward and back if you're looking for a little bit of extra support for your arm while you're driving. And if you take a look in the footwell there, you've got the same grade all with the mats. Just above, you've got your standard glove box with the owner's manual inside. And up top here, you've got an extra little storage compartment, which is really handy to have as well. Over on the passenger side door panel, you've got the same great design that we found on the driver's side, as well as, of course, the controls for the power locks and the passenger side window. Up top, you'll find an auto-dimming rear mirror, so that'll keep your mirror nice and dim automatically without you having to flip it down at nighttime. And up top, you'll find a couple of interior lights, as well as the controls for your sunroof, which is a fantastic feature to have on hot, sunny days like today. Of course, you can open it up and let in lots of airflow as well as light. So that concludes the features up front. Let's go ahead and hop in back and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this vehicle, you'll find more of that same gorgeous two-tone leather seating that extends across the rear bench seat. Back here, you've also got the same great all-weather mat, as well as lots of legroom for your rear passengers. If we hop inside, you'll find a couple of handy storage pockets in the back of the driver and the passenger side seat. And if we look towards the center seat here, you've also got a nice fold-down padded leather armrest. That also includes a couple of extra cup holders for your rear passengers. These rear seats also do fold down on a 60-40 split if you have some additional cargo to store. You can simply grab the latch underneath here and fold the seat forward. If you take a quick glance at the rear door panel here, you've got the same great design that we found in the front, as well as of course a switch for the rear windows and a little bit of storage underneath. Popping the power left gate is nice and easy, you're simply going to hit the button underneath and it'll pop right open for you. And then back here you've got a nice generous carpeted cargo area, as well as a handy little cargo net to keep things organized and a privacy cover if you're looking to cover up your cargo. Back here you'll also notice you've got the standard grab four carpet mats if you're looking to switch those out, those are still in the package. Underneath here, of course, you've also got a spare tire as well as the tools to change it in case you ever get a flat. And all the way up at the front, you'll also find a handy little additional storage compartment. Over on the left-hand side here, you've also got an interior light. And just below, you'll find one of the JBL Green Edge speakers. This sound system is absolutely phenomenal. Closing up the power lift gate is nice and easy. You're simply going to hit the button up top there, and that'll close right down for you. That concludes this short video walk around, but this gorgeous example of a 2015 RAV4 Limited will not last long in our lot, so make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota located at 1200 Leith Head Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.